Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. I posted some information on Twitter the other day, and it's been a little bit uh, challenging to get back to it. As you know, all of the excitement on the news, um, that is pretty much uh, affecting everyone globally at this point. Um, either which way, tonight we're getting to that discussion. Uh, this video will be about triple witching to make sure by the end of this video you understand exactly what that is. Um, if you understand what it is, feel free to uh, go ahead and exit the video or stick around and refresh. All right, getting into it, what is triple witching? Triple witching is the quarterly expiration of stock options, stock index futures, and stock index option contracts all occurring on the same day. It happens four times a year on the third Friday of March, June, September, and December. To understand triple witching, triple witching days, they generate trading activity and volatility because contracts that are allowed to expire may necessitate the purchase or sale of the underlying security. While some derivative contracts are open with the intention of buying or selling the underlying security, uh, traders seeking derivative exposure only must ro uh, close, roll out, or offset their open positions prior to the close of trading on triple witching days. The reason we are getting into this and the reason I posted this on Twitter, I haven't seen anyone mention it, is this Friday is a triple witching day. It is the third Friday of March, and so that's the whole uh, reasoning for this statement and the reason I was requested to make a video on it to explain a little bit better. Triple witching days, particularly the final hour of trading preceding the closing bell, which is called the triple witching hour. <clears throat> and it can result in escalated trading activity and volatility as traders close, roll out or off sell their expiring positions. And since 2002, the triple witching days have also included the expiration of single stock futures meaning there are actually four types of expiring contracts, but the term quadruple witching has never caught on. We've mentioned that a few times um, here on this channel and on our Twitter, but the technical term still seems to be the triple witching. The key takeaways in triple witching is the quarterly expiration of stock options, stock index, futures, and stock index option contracts all occurring on the same day. The triple witching happens four times a year on the third Friday of March, June, September, and December. Triple witching days, particularly the final hour of trading preceding the closing bell, which is called the triple witching hour, can result in escalated trading activity and volatility as traders close, roll out, or offset their expiring positions. Offsetting futures positions, a futures contract, which is an agreement to buy or sell an underlying security, at a predetermined price on a specified day, mandates the agreed upon transaction to take place after the expiration of the contract. For example, one futures contract on the Standard & Poor's of 500 index S&P 500 is valued at 250 times the value of this index. If the index is priced at $2,000 per expiration or at expiration, the underlying value of the contract is $500,000, which is the amount the contract owner is obligated to pay if the contract is allowed to expire. <laughs> to avoid this obligation, the contract owner closes the contract by selling it prior to expiration. After closing the expiration contract exposure, to the S&P 500 index can be maintained by purchasing a new contract in a forward month. This is referred to as rolling out a contract. Expiring options are options that are in the money present, a similar situation for holders of expiring contracts. For example, the seller of a colored, covered call option can have the underlying shares called away. 
If the share price closes above the strike price or the expiring option, in this situation, the option seller has the option to close the position prior to expiration to continue holding the shares or allow the option to expire and have the shares called away. Triple witching and arbitrage. While much of the trading in closing, opening and offsetting futures and options contracts during triple witching days is related to the squaring of positions, the surge of activity can also drive price inefficiencies which draw short-term arbitragers and these opportunities are often the catalysts for heavy volume going into the close on triple witching days. As traders attempt to profit on small price imbalances with large round trades that may be completed in seconds. As we're getting to the next article, the triple witching effects on trading. Triple witching Friday happens on the third Friday of March, June, September, and December and is the simultaneous expiration or rollover of various futures and option contracts. We're going to scroll down as we've gone through those articles. What to watch for. Because of the increased volume, the chance of some abnormal price moves and a statistical bias which may cause some day trading strategies not to work, which work during non-triple witching weeks and days. Some day traders recommend caution and others recommend not trading at all. How an individual day trader chooses to handle triple witching will depend on their trading style trading strategies, and level of trading experience. New traders will want to be more cautious in the days leading up to and on Triple Witching Friday. If a day trader opts to trade during these weeks, measures should be taken to ensure the strategy being used works in such an environment or a new strategy can be constructed specifically for this week. Swing traders and investors are unlikely to be significantly affected by the event, but swing traders may wish to take note of any statistical biases present during the week of triple witching. Bottom line, triple and quadruple witching does not include all of the stock index futures and options contracts. So even though they are the most talked about expiration events, they are not the only expiration days. Short-term traders should adapt their strategies to these conditions. Avoid trading or reduce their position size if they notice their performance deteriorates during this time. And then get into this, the triple witching hour. Again, on Wikipedia, triple witching hour is the last hour of the stock market trading session from 3 to 4 p.m. New York City local time on the third Friday of every March, June, September, and December. These days are the expiration of three kinds of securities, stock market index futures, stock market index options, and stock options. These simultaneous expirations generally increases the trading volume of options, futures, and the underlying stocks and occasionally increases volatility of prices of related securities. On those same days, single stock futures also expire, so that the final hour is sometimes referred to as the quadruple witching hour. Again, the reason I gave you so many different options, which almost seem exactly the same, there is a little bit of different information in each of those. And as always, we do include the links in the description below so that you can come back to all of our videos and research or refresh or remind yourself from watching the video or clicking on the link below. We're here to help you succeed better as a digital asset investor to understand everything that affects the price and assures your success. Again, what is a triple witching? The street definition, also called triple expiration, triple witching refers to the quarterly expiration of index futures, index future options and certain stock options on the third Friday of March, June, September, and December. This can cause some pretty big swings 
in the stock market. And again here, um, what I think is really cool on this page, I'm just going to let it scroll if you're able to watch your screen. If not, please do not if you're working or driving. Don't get in trouble. Don't get in an accident. Stay safe. Come back another time. This is going to share with you a lot of different um, stock and trading, um, like lingo, definitions. You can click on them, and it's going to obviously share the definition immediately with you so that you can be more informed, more knowledgeable, and more aware. I'm still letting this scroll down. I apologize, I will speed it up just a little bit. Not so much that you can read it so much at this point, but just to show you what entails and what they're offering uh, right here. There are a few things I just really wanna come back to here when we get a chance. Let's see if it's gonna include here. I did not see it, what I was looking for there, but let me rewind just a bit and bring something here. I did see, okay, it wasn't what I thought. Either which way, that's fine. The repo purchase agreement, that is basically um, what we're going through right now. Um, but again, all of the securities, the commodities, the derivatives, all of the stock options, these triple witching does affect us as it will allow uh, the possibility of the big money investors to basically step over and put some of his um, funds and income into the um, digital assets to as a precautionary moment for the triple witching days as we discussed again guys i hope that helped i was um after stating that a few people had said please make a video just let me know what that is because they weren't too uh, confident in what they their understanding of what triple witching meant this is a very short video not a whole lot much more than that. That's pretty definitive in itself. Again, reminding you that this Friday, uh, we have what, two days, I believe it's Wednesday. We have Thursday and Friday here uh, in the US, the United States. I know a lot of you who are listening to the show, you are already in your Thursday. So it would be uh, one more day for you it would be the 20th in our triple witching day. All right, we're gonna end this video with a quick thought, never lose hope, good things will come soon. Be patient. If you've gotten this far and if you've been here for very long, I mean, we are sitting right on the edge with all of the excitement that is going on globally. It is all connecting back to basically what is going to ignite the flame for this to begin to launch. No pun intended with the phoenix launching out of the flame and out of the ashes. But it is what it is. Again, guys, this is not financial advice. It is entertainment purposes only. I hope I did answer your um, request, or I hope this request uh, to do this video answered your concerns and your, informed you on what you were looking for in your understanding of the triple witching definition. Feel free to play it back again or go through the... Um, links in the description below. Much love to all of you guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.